Hello, 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 it is Aliatana and I am back to play some Sims. All right, so obviously I am like super, super inspired by the new pack coming out. I've decided I'm not gonna get it right away because I'm just iffy about it right now when it comes to the bugs, but I was very inspired by the uh, beachfront wedding kind of thing that they were showing off in the live stream. So I was like, you know what? I am going to build a beachfront very lower like a lower key base it's not that low key a lower key wedding venue on the beach in sulani so that your sims can maybe go and um get married have a honeymoon right after you know it's a beautiful spot so i put i picked this key point space um it's that random island in the middle of uh that one neighborhood um so you do have a little bit of with water area and also sand so i liked that I really, really wanted to do something where, you know, you're sitting out on the water getting married. You know, it's just, it, it seems like it would be so pretty. I've seen a few people actually that I know uh, go do destination weddings down south and they have that really gorgeous, you know, beach view and stuff when they say I do and it's just like, oh, that's so pretty. I want that for my Sims. Not for me, but for my Sims. <laughs> um, so I decided to build it. So here it is. Uh, <laughs> So um, I used a lot of island living, obviously. I, whenever I'm in Sulani, I just want to use island living stuff. Like I just, I, even if I want a modern type build, I always want to just like have little pieces that I know like are really Sulani based. So for example, the columns I usually do. Um, I also really like using the textured roof from Island Living uh, for this type of build. This is a hut sort of deal. Um, and yeah, you can see I've kind of made a little bit of like a, an uh, overhang area uh, where you walk through. I wanted it to be sort of an experience when you come into this place. Um, you can't go up onto that one side over there. Um, that's this area I end up moving around and make it, instead of being a photo area, it becomes the area where you eat and everything and um, and the bar and everything. So it gets, it gets moved. But my point is, is that you have to go through the front of the hut through the experience of seeing the the views and and going through all that and then when you go upstairs there's the kitchen area so that's where like the caterer can do all of their work or if you don't want to do a caterer and you want to make your own food you can go do that here too make your own cake all of that such thing right so upstairs is more of like the you know stuff that's important <laughs> the bathrooms are downstairs actually so i don't want sims running up the stairs and peeing themselves so it's on the first floor um, but there's also a, a little room upstairs, an extra bonus room upstairs um, that is more like a kid's space. Uh, so I have like, you know, a toddler bed, I have a potty, I have some activities, things to do because we all know that when toddlers go to a wedding in The Sims, they all end up being super cranky and not happy and usually need a nap. So I want to put a place where there's a bed for them so they can nap. But I also put a bunk bed uh, so if any regular sims kids teens adults elders anyone who is tired can go upstairs and take a quick nap during the wedding i personally would love that <laughs> so um i wanted to do that for for these sims so creating this upstairs space uh was kind of interesting i wanted to make sure that you saw all of the windows and everything and it, and it kind of worked out but um, I also wanted to make sure there was a staircase from the do from the top floor down straight to the area main like wedding space because if you have a kitchen up there you want to make take everything down there um, and make it easier for everybody involved. <laughs> so I like you can see I've got a little bit I ended up making a little bit of a hallway there to get to this sort of kid space. So now we're down at the main area. I love that wedding arch from Island Living. It makes me so happy. So I used it and I used Ottomans instead. So we'll see if the Sims sit. They probably won't, but you can try, you know, there's always the trying. And then I have this beautiful white carpet that I use as the aisle. And I think it looks really sweet. And then obviously just decorating up the arch a little bit, getting that fire. If you want to get married at night, oh, that would be sick too. You get the fire going all. Oh. Anyways, lots of options, but this sort of patio space here is kind of like the open concept space for the party. So there's like one side is where you get married and then I put the glass dance floor. I wanted it to be like you could look down and see the fishy swimming where you're dancing. I think that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, basically um, this space ended up not becoming the main um, dining space. Like I said, I moved it. I put the photos over there so you get this really nice when you take the photos you have the background of the Sulani um, beach right there with like the the waterfall it's just lovely 
Now, like I said, this top area I ended up making into the dining space. I wanted to make it so that there was like a kind of raised platform for the couple to sit at. So I had to extend it and I played around with this quite a bit and I ended up changing this up because you'll see when you move around to the other side, if I try to put a platform, yeah, the fence, it kind of does this weird glitch thing because of the platform and there's literally nothing I can do about it. And it looks so bad. So I basically was like, nope, we're just gonna put a platform in the middle there and pretend that didn't happen. But I basically was like, yeah, I want there to be like a head table kind of area where they can stand on the platform and sit up there. And then the rest of the party is down stairs sort, sort of more. Also, I ended up moving the stairs because I was like, you know what? Nobody needs to go straight down to the beach from the dining area. You can walk down that little um, hallway and get down. I needed the space instead. <laughs> So, you know, seating for quite a few sims here. Um, I ended up using the Island Living uh, chair, or sorry, Seasons chairs, actually, Seasons chairs, because uh, I liked the look of them, but they don't have the, the nice uh, back uh, drapes like the new pack, but that's okay. This is me, like, pre-inspired by the new pack, knowing I'm not going to get the new pack right away, wanting a wedding. Also, my Black Widow, Rosalie, needs a new wedding to go to, and uh, her and uh, her fiancé actually are here when we do the tour. It's actually really funny. So uh, I think we've she's decided on this place, uh, but how, how could you blame her? <laughs> it's pretty sweet. So yeah, I wanted to actually add a little bit of cover because I realized it's probably a good thing to have some sort of cover if in case it does rain so you can sit somewhere and, and you know, not be miserable not inside so uh, there is a little bar area that I put over there a very small bar area um, that's covered so at least if there's the party can still happen now this is a pet peeve of mine I wanted to put a fountain there but because it's a beachfront property I couldn't put a fountain really really since team it's a fountain like I want to put a nice fountain and make it like decorative and instead I had to go with landscaping but fine. I used the big island living tree, obviously. I, it is a really fun tree. I wish that it was more, like, not in my face when I'm putting things down, but it is what it is. Uh, it's good for the view, for sure. But it's hard with these beachfront lots. Like, I want to put greenery and stuff, but I don't want to overdo it, right? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to make it, like, ridiculous. Um, even that sandy path, I just couldn't handle. And I realized there were these pebbles, um, it's like a place decoration. So I decided to use those instead. And I think they work out better. It's like a little pathway down. Uh, looks a lot more natural. It's like stones instead. Um, and it just kind of adds a little bit more to the landscaping. And then I was like, this palm tree that breaks is perfect. Because where the dining room space is, the, the happy couple is backing onto this beautiful palm tree. And it's just like, everything is so beautiful in this build. I am obsessed. I wish I could travel here. <laughs> it, would, it would be so nice. Um, but instead, Rosalie will get her perfect wedding here. And I will live vicariously through her. Um, <laughs> as, as always, as always. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, adding a little bit of extra depth in the sand as well is always a good thing. Now, inside, like I said, I wanted to make sure there was bathroom space. So it's just separate bathrooms. I don't put stalls. It's just easier this way. So I made it the exact same jungle adventure types of vibes because I like the jungle adventure tiling a lot. And then I actually used the outdoor retreat mirror, which I wish that there was a smaller version that was lower down with like, like a thinner outside. But this works for me, I guess. This works. Now I went with Jungle Adventure Darker Wood. This is always one of my favorite swatches of wood to use as well. And I was trying to figure out like what else I could really do with this space. Like I, I, I thought I was like, you know what? I think I need one more bathroom. I don't think two is enough. Um, we need to find a way. So I ended up making a bathroom over in that corner underneath the, the uh, one side of the stairs. So you still can get in there. I did test it. And um, yeah, at least now three bathrooms. Uh, nobody's gonna complain about losing um, their bladder anywhere. We'll be fine, right? <laughs> and then I use the Island Living uh, fe light features because I really like them a lot. And I think it works well because it's more of a hut. Like I didn't want to put um, pot lights. It just didn't seem right. So uh, put a little space downstairs. Uh, I ended up actually making a little like TV nook because I was thinking about it. And I'm like, what if you get married on New Year's Eve and you need to watch the New Year's countdown? It's a serious issue. So it's happened to me before. So 
I put in a TV. See, this is what happens to me. I play the game. I use a venue or a lot. Something goes very wrong and I realize, crap, I should have had XYZ in this build. So next time, I put it in the build. For example, when my toddlers have screaming and crying tantrums and are so tired and I don't have MC or UI cheats in so I can't fix them and they're just, everything's terrible, a toddler bed would be nice. So now I put toddler beds in all of my venues. So yeah, I'm very much a learn from my mistakes situation person, especially in The Sims. So I feel like that's why my builds, like I'm, I, f I feel like I've improved so much because I've been able to make these adaptations as they go. And, um, you know, I don't, I'm a heart on myself when it happens, but I try to, you know, fix it so it doesn't happen again. It's like everything in my real life, man. Oh man, ah, there'll be time. Okay, back over here, we're gonna just go in and make an area. There's like a seating area sort of. So if you're tired of dancing, you can hang out on the couch take some pictures. It doesn't just have to be the bride and groom or bride and bride or the happy couple, whoever it is. Anybody can take pictures down there, why not? And so here's our covered bar area that I was mentioning before. Uh, I just have the little bar from Vintage Glamour stuff, so it's not like a real bar, but you know. You can serve yourself. And then we have just a little pride flag here because you know, we are an inclusive and loving community and we accept everybody and everybody's love. So I wanted everyone to know that that is what this venue stands for. All right, so I think I'm almost at a point where we're finishing up. We're now up in the kitchen area. I wanted to use Island Living and I loved the, the swatch with the blue counter because I just think it's just so like edgy. And what I love so much about these Island Living counters are those side uh, one options that you can have for the island because it's like a waterfall on the side and I love that look so much. So. Went with this, uh, used the Jungle Adventure oven, which is actually really sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's it's like a gas stove, I love it. And then I do actually find that these um, shelves that come with the Island Living Kitchen are great. I would love more shelf options uh, instead of like or cupboards. Uh, so Sims Team, if you have other shelves options, that'd be great. All right, and we're basically just, we're really close. I mean, we're just um, getting details in. I'm putting down a mic, some a violin, so we can have some music and entertainment outside. I also did put a stereo in the front uh, where the dining area is, so you can have music playing when you're, sleep, when you're eating. And then we obviously have a DJ booth downstairs, so. All right, we're up in the kids area. So obviously throwing all the kids stuff in. I wanted the dream home decorator play tent because you know, it's easy, throw them. You can nap in there too. That one's a good one actually. Um, we have a bunch of toys, we have a potty, we have a, to uh, a bunk bed, we have a toddler bed. Everybody is ready and good to go. And then finally, just the swing to top it off. Oh, it looks so good, I love it. Oh, so cute. And then outside on this balcony, I just put a couple of lounge chairs. Maybe I'm not going to eat sit there, but you know, some people might. You never know. You never know. All right, switching to a wedding venue. I uploaded this as a wedding venue. I don't know if it'll work, full disclosure. So if it doesn't, switch it to a lounge and then try using a wedding. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, so we're coming into the tour. Welcome to the Vista Beach wedding venue. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I'm obsessed. I want to I wanna be there so badly right now. And I came at the perfect time. I came right at sunset, like 6.30ish in Tim time. And look at the, look at the sky. Oh my goodness. Anyway, showing you all the beautiful angles and views of this amazing venue. So you can see all of the fantastic natural Sulani beauty behind, around you while you're getting married. It's breathtaking. Um, oh, that side with the sunset. Uh, I've never been this happy. I kind of want to like film my Black Widow win wedding like right now here. <laughs> like I'm so ready. Oh my God, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Okay, so let's go out to the front. I brought actually my sim self, Allie, over to check it out. She's over there fishing. But we're going to come in from the front here. Um, and so you can kind of experience this this whole situation. <laughs> So we walk up and there's a beautiful swing and look who's right in the door, but Kiyoshi, it's Rosalie's fiance. So uh, Kiyoshi and Rosalie are actually checking out this venue right now. 
But over here, you come over to the side, and this is that sort of serve your own self bar area. There's some seating. Uh, we have the vintage glamour bar there. So you can just kind of hang out, chat before the wedding starts. It's a little bit of a schmoozing place. I don't know if you've been to like weddings where there's like a, like a cocktail hour and then you go into dinner. So this is like the cocktail hour space. Think of it that way. So then we're going into this main area of the like building of the hut. And this is obviously mostly the bathroom space, right? So um, when you come in, we do have a TV sitting. And see, Kiyoshi's watching the TV. It was important to put a TV. <laughs> uh, and then, so yeah, bathroom number one over here. I love that every single bathroom is connected because it's all Jungle Adventure, but it's different swatches and colors. So it's very bright and airy and fun. And everybody is a fan. And so, yeah. Oh, there's Rosalie. She's looking at the computer. So I actually put a computer down here, too, because I figured, what if people have to order stuff? Do you, you never know. You never know. So um, they're, they're looking it up there. I think they're, they're looking into this place for sure. And there's, a, you know, bathroom number three. And then we have the outside area. So this is super exciting. We walk out and look at this. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. That is like... Oh, could you imagine walking down the aisle? That's the aisle. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Oh, I hope they sit in the ottomans. <laughs> and then over there, like I mentioned before, you see the waterfall in the background. So those pictures that you take at that camera are going to be gorgeous. So gorgeous. Um, and then we have, we're walking over top of our water glass dance floor right now so you can see directly down into the water as you're dancing maybe you'll see some fishies we have the mic and then over here this area is so cool we're walking through to where you have your dinner and you sit down and you enjoy and it's like you it's an experience walking through here in my opinion like look at this and then you have this beautiful view ah oh, i want to cry it's so pretty Oh my goodness, like, mm. and then you have the bar, you can get your drinks, everybody's happy, hanging out with the stereo, oh my god, I love it so much, I can't wait to throw a wedding here, oh my god, like, I'm, I'm, I've just, like, <laughs> this is, like, this is the way I'm dealing with it, like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not getting the pack right away, so this is how I'm, like, sort of handling the situation. We have these this lovely beachfront area in Sulani that I get to use instead before Tortuza comes into my life. All right, so we're just gonna go up into the second floor area. So now we're up into the top of the hut and this is again, the more practical side of our hut, we can say. So first we have these two sort of rooms to deal with. First we have our kitchen. And of course, everything you need to make all the food for your wedding. Uh, cake, uh, pancakes. The last wedding I was at, the caterer just kept making pancakes. I don't know why. Um, and then here's our kids' room. So our kids slash hangout room. So it's the activity. You have the breezy windows, no, no uh, glass. It's really nice. And then you have the places where the kids can sleep or play. And then we'll go outside and we see this beautiful view again. Oh my so this is like, you know, it's easier for the caterer to get down these stairs, you know, to go and take everything down that they've made. Um, but, you know, and Kate, it's also just another place you can hang out upstairs if you want. So feel free to download this place uh, under my ID, Aliatana. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.